One of the most amazing benefits that I've had in, in my years, um, in my career, has been to interview some outrageously fascinating people. I'm not kidding you, like that's one of the coolest things. All the people that I've had a chance to interview, uh, from the world of spirituality to entertainment to uh, personal growth, um, athletics, you name it, it's been amazing. And I want to share a story with you about Liz Murray. Many of you probably know and have heard of Liz Murray. I interviewed her, oh gosh, I don't know how many years ago now, maybe like six years ago. I think it was just before the movie about her on Lifetime came out from uh, Homeless to Harvard. And she was in Harvard University when I had a chance to interview her going to school and just, just a fascinating, fascinating woman. I am David Essel. You know, most of us, when we look at overcoming uh, challenges in life, when we look at accomplishing goals, we, we really don't have it as bad as we may think. I mean, our projection internally of, of, of the challenges that we have are usually much bigger than they are. And then we run into people like Liz Murray. And if you know the story, she was raised in a, in a drug and alcoholic family, mother and father, who I believe has since passed on. But um, was not tended to, was not cared for at anywhere near the level that most of us are and was um, abandoned to the streets basically, um, had to make a choice, uh, took some time, did what she used to call sofa surfing, you know she would stay at different friends houses on their couch and then ac absolutely became homeless and started spending time in New York City in the parks, sleeping in the parks. And from that position in life, she was introduced a teacher, went, took uh, the kids on a field trip from New York City to Boston. Um, you know, this whole dream about Harvard was put into her brain that it might even be possible because of the situation that she was in. Uh, even though she wasn't in school full time throughout like the four years that most kids are in school because of the different challenges she had with her family life, she made up the time in the classroom and then got her grades at a very high level. She had a teacher that cared and loved her, got her to apply to Harvard and then Harvard said yes. Now when I interviewed her, of course she was out of that incredible despair of living on the streets but look back at it as an opportunity to learn and probably one of the things that I hear from people like Liz Murray and Dave Pelzer who I've um, did a, a YouTube, several, no I guess just one YouTube video on, he's a great author, you can look through my YouTube channel and see the, the video I did on Dave Pelzer, but these people that come from incredibly challenging uh, households where they're abandoned by their family or abused by their family, whatever it might be, is that they all have a central theme and that's forgiveness. And to talk about Liz Murray and to listen to Liz talk about how she had to get to a level of forgiveness to let go and to forgive her parents for the experiences that she had and for the challenges that they had was amazing. I mean this was a girl who now is in probably in her mid-twenties, late-twenties and, and um, just six years ago was in Harvard and, and you talk about her at that time and you wonder how does someone get there, right? Like how does someone so young grasp the wisdom and knowledge of forgiveness? And, and you know, there, there isn't a mystery to it ladies and gentlemen, there isn't a mystery. Liz Murray would probably tell you this to, the, to this day is that you have to act upon that notion. Like someone tells you it might be a good idea to forgive your parents or a former lover or a child or a friend or a business partner that embezzled all of your money and we go, yeah, but not them. They're different. I'll forgive other people, but not them. And Liz Murray opted out of that denial that she had to go to a high place of forgiveness in order for her to move on. And she's incredibly inspirational now. Like as an inspirational speaker, her main message is to help people get out there and to accomplish their dreams. Now you'll notice I didn't say follow their dreams, I said to accomplish them. And there's a real big difference, it's like goal setters, goal achievers, right? Anyone can set goals, it's the people that achieve them that do something different. Anyone can start to follow your dream, but it's the people that achieve their dreams are doing something different. And Liz Murray is a perfect example of that. She's someone that absolutely put her feet to the pavement, took the steps necessary, the uncomfortable ones, to help drag herself with the help of others out of homelessness and into an institution like Harvard that has now opened up amazing doors in her life. And let's learn from that. Like what held Liz, what could have held, we'll put it that way, Liz Murray back from accomplishing her goals was a lack of forgiveness. What propelled her forward was to forgive. So who in our lives are we holding hostage? 
who in our lives are we still thinking about and we have a pit in our stomach because we're still uh, frustrated with them. We have a resentment against them. Mother, father, sister, brother, former lover, neighbor, um, business partner, boss. Who is it that we need to forgive so that we can accomplish those goals and dreams in life and not just think about them? Let's follow Liz Murray's example. She rocks. And go on, on, on uh, online and, and check her out. Just All you have to do is either type in Liz Murray or go ahead and Google um, from homeless to Harvard. Awesome inspirational story. You'll love it as much as I did. If I can help you in any way whatsoever accomplishing your goals, not just going after them, but accomplishing them, contact me at talkdavid.com. Talkdavid.com. And, and share the excitement about life that people like Liz Murray are sharing with us and, and that what we offer you through our website, information to help you move to a new place. And if you know someone that really could use an uplifting message, share this YouTube video with them so that we can continue to make a difference in this world. Okay, thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great day. Bye-bye.